Bonjour, or how do you say it in Arabic? Sabah uh, al-Nur, or Masa al-Khir, because we are in the afternoon. We are. Masa al-Khir. <laughs> we are in Fes today, which is my favorite place, and I actually want to moon us to because it's nearby her beloved town of Meknes. Yeah. And we're... 35 minute driving from here to there, yes. or 40 minutes. <laughs> so we're walking through the marketplace of Fes, which is the most exciting marketplace in the world, I think, and the mm -hmm. largest one in, in Africa? And Morocco. And Morocco, yeah. And it's easy to get lost here. <laughs> Yeah, there's like 10,000 streets. So it's good to see this with a tour guide like Muna uh, or our wonderful friend Hadija who shows us around here. So let's go and check out the Medina of Fes. Don't get lost. Don't get lost, Muna. No. All right. Yalla. Yalla, Habibi. So what do you think, Muna? Do you want a jalaba? Shall you buy another jalaba? Oh yeah, I love jalaba. I love the Moroccan dress in general, especially in summer. It's more fresh. <laughs> it's a fez in fez. Look. Fez. Yes, we have a fez. <laughs> uh, and these are kaftans, which are different than jalaba. This is Mohammed. Hi, Mohammed. How are you? <laughs> and this is a uh, Moroccan team shirts yeah who recently did very well at the world cup we are so proud of them actually we our Moroccan team yeah <laughs> and you wish them a good luck for the next world cup <laughs> yes for sure i'll be i'll be cheering for them unless the italians are in <laughs> mint which is in everything around here and this is accent we use it for the Moroccan tea as well especially in the winter ah okay it keeps you warm. <laughs> Little camels and more fesses in fess. People don't really wear fezzes though, do they? Oh, they wear but in the, in the special ceremonies. Ah, uh, okay. Like the Eid, like the one that was spent in Rabat. Uh, or for example, when uh, if there is something official in uh, Morocco. Okay, so or they... in the, the wedding party celebration or something like that. All right. So you can buy just about anything here. Everything's handicrafts, handmade leather. You can buy beads. You can buy silver. It's just an absolute, I don't even know what to say, like minestrone of things that you can buy. And keep little kids playing. This is, these are textiles that are made with agave silk, which is like a, grows wild here. Agave grows everywhere. Oh, you, you want to find a good wife? Okay, I'll help you. I'll let you know. Just bring sugar. I am sweet enough. I don't need sugar. You don't need to bring sugar? Okay, all right. I think he wanted to marry you, Muna. Oh, no, I don't. She already, this is her second marriage proposal of the day. We saw you holding hands earlier. We saw that. <laughs> so Muna, explain the sugar thing. Oh, in, um, in Morocco, when anyone wants to marry, yeah. they take sugar for the wife. And there is something, especially in the south of Morocco, when the, when, uh, the wife, she made for the husband the sweet sugar. That means she wants him. But if she made it without sugar, that means take your sugar and go back to your home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so mean. <laughs> So as you can see, this, the roads here are really, really windy and confusing. So it is good to have somebody come with you. You can hire a guide for a day. You can go on a tour like we offer at Adventures with Sarah. So you've got lots of options for visiting Fest. But this is, I think, one of the most beautiful markets and most interesting markets in the world. And we're out. And the uh, 18th snails was the uh, French influence. But in Morocco, we cook snails in Moroccan way, not like, French, like France. 
In Morocco, we cook snails like a soup with lots of spices and medicinal herbs. It's a warm soup in winter time. And the snails here, they come from the mountains, not from the sea. Yeah. And the fruit here is called jojoba or yojoba. Here is the dying pit where they are dying folks. That's agave sin. The vegetable sin. Just look how soft. Coming from the fibers of agave. Like three weeks. in past as foragans because people in 14th century of course didn't rent their houses for foragans so students coming from out past they had to find first the bed than to stay in past and to study in Karawiyun University but before starting the, the studies in Karawiyun University students had to come first here to learn Quran by heart which was the exercise for memory uh, <laughs> so thank you for joining me and Muna here in Fes at the marketplace. And see you somewhere in Morocco. We will. We'll see. Yalla, right? Let's go. Yalla, yalla, habibi.